Hello everybody, we're going to be playing Unholy Flesh today, a text adventure game. Now, I played a bit of this and I thought it was really, really awesome looking. So, we're going to be playing this, and granted, it doesn't have anything other than text, other than a few images. I, I think you'll like this a lot, because it gives me a chance to narrate everything. Okay, here's basically the story. You awake suddenly. Your head throbs with pain. It appears that you are in some sort of bedchamber. A barred window barely reveals the messy interior. You get up. The thoughts in your head fly aimlessly around and you can't seem to remember what the place is, nor can you recall how you got here. There is an empty backpack on the ground, and you put it on your back. Thanks, haven't gotten too menacing. That's a tutorial. I really don't care about it, so I just skipped it. Okay, so... We're gonna look around... You take a look around. You can see a bed, a barred window, a door, and a table. Hmm. Look at bed. You take a look at the bed. Its frame is covered with ancient rust. Your body has left an imprint on the rigid mattress. Okay. Look at window. You take a look at the barred window. It looks like it's protected by strong, thick bars. It has a brown brick frame. In some places, the bricks are severely damaged. Clearly, someone had tried to escape. You peer outside. A soft rain is falling in the gloomy afternoon. Nothing interesting catches your eye. Okay. Look at table. You take a look at the table. It is as dark as a color can get. On it, you can see a dire page and a box of matches. Take, page, no, do not, do not tie a page, take page, yes, there we go, you take the page, take matches, read diary, it was time for the afternoon service, and I was going down the staircase, lost in my own thoughts, when I almost fell through that hole in the steps again, Although I didn't get hurt, one of my crutches got stuck and it took me ages to get it out. I told John to fix that damn step a million times already, but he seemed so preoccupied with something as of late and refuses to tell me what. I hate it when he does that. Never mind. I got carried away again. The steps took me some time, but I managed to get down in time for the service. However, things didn't go as expected. I was standing in the middle of a crime scene. Well, that's one way to end up page in a diary. Okay, open door. You reach for the doorknob and turn it softly and the door opens. It leads to a dimly lit, lit room. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Barred window, someone tried to escape and he didn't even try opening the door? I don't know, maybe it was locked before, but Come on, guy. Like, did, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what happened here. It, it's a mystery. So, enter door. Maybe it was locked because obviously he's not there anymore. So, I could have just been here much later than him, and he could have been some, you know, actual person they wanted to keep in there. But how did I get here? Perhaps it will be explained. Anyways, you step through the door. You stand on the edge of what looks like a staircase. The light from the bedchamber barely reveals a few steps leading downward. On your left, there is a long metal ladder going high up on one of the walls, what appears to be a framed map. Hangs. Take the map. You take the framed map and place it in your backpack. There is a hole where the map once stood. Inside, you find a diary page and a fancy mo- Ooh, a fancy monocle! Take fancy monocle. Oh, no, no, dang it. Take fancy monocle. You can't... Ugh. Take monocle. Ah! Take monocle! That only took four tries. You take the fancy monocle and place it on your eye. The world looks crystal- Ooh, I'm wearing the monocle. The world looks crystal clear now. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I find this game to be rather astute in the way that it functions. Take page. Read diary. Ugh. I, 
I am not the best typer. It's read diary. It was some time for the afternoon service, and I was going down the wait. Page missing. What? No, oh, I must have picked up a page not in order. Where's the? <sighs> Never mind. How do I? Wait, how do I get? Okay. Oh, I have page three. Okay. Being a cripple doesn't mean that I was completely useless, though. Nah, never mind. We're not gonna get to that until we find page two. I didn't even know he was a cripple. Okay. Uh, he said something about a ladder, so go up ladder. You start climbing the metal ladder leading up. You reach the top, emerging from a shaft, and the first thing you spot is a giant bell. Ring giant bell. This place looks like a bell tower. The roof barely stands on three remaining wooden pillars. The wood, the wind carries drops of rain onto you. There's a chest on the wet floor. Ring giant bell. You can't reach the shortened rope to ring the giant. Oh, it's just out of reach. It is just out of reach. Okay, open the chest. You take a look at the small chest. It has steel straps across its lid, holding the wood together. You find a diary page and a torch inside. A... Ugh, a torch. Am I typing too loud? I think I'm typing too loud. I will type quietly from now on. Take page. Okay, I think that's a bit better. Okay, now let's see if we can read the diary. Uh, you know... No. No. Why are, why, why are we getting these as a forter? I mean, these are, these are the, literally the first three rooms you can go to. But please exit the book. Please exit the book, sir. Sir, I'd, I'd like to... Okay. Uh, go down ladder. Sorry if it's not interesting yet. But, I'm sure that it will be. It said that this was a horror game, but I don't see any horror other than the atmosphere, which, you know, the graphics don't show. Okay, dimly lit room, light torch. You light a match and stick to the front. Oh, <laughs> it's a real torch. I thought this was a Britain Land flashlight torch. Okay. Uh, Britain land torches have ruined me. I keep getting the two confused. Okay, catch us fire. Uh, take out torch, maybe? Uh, you're... Oh, I haven't taken out the torch. Okay, go downstairs. Because yeah, that guy said that there were holes down there, and I don't, I don't like holes. Especially ones I can't see, and this is a dimly lit room. You get the torch out on the way out. On the way down, you spot a couple of broken steps and jump over them. You stand in that place covered in ruins. Once it was surely a ceremony room. Sorry, the text keeps, text keeps moving. Ceremony room of the church. But now most of the benches are covered in debris. Only the front row of benches, benches is unaffected. A giant gap on the ceiling allows the calm but constant rain to fall freely on the muddy floor. At the far end of the great hall, there's a door covered in debris. Checkpoint reached. Cool. Um... Look at bench. Look at bench. Hmm. You start going through the row of benches. It appears that no one has used these for quite a while. Halfway through, a shiny object glistens beneath one of the benches. Upon reaching the end of the row, behind a giant concrete pillar, you see someone. You can't see the person's face because the hood of the robe he is wearing is up. He is sitting on a chair behind a table. Huh. That's a bit disturbing. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually kinda creepy. Like even for just text. Okay. Uh take object, maybe? You can't find such an object around. Take shiny. 
You can't find take shine take shiny object. You take the coin and place it in your backpack. Okay. Uh punishes Do I wanna talk to man? Okay. You can't find such an object around. Look at table? Maybe? You take a look around at the wooden table. On the table you spot a small clay pot. A sign reads, every cent go- <gasps> Ooh! 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 Put coin in pot. Yes. You toss the coin into the clay pot. It catches in the web inside. Uh, you reach to let it free. When you hear a loud, creepy laughter, instantly your eyes fix on the figure in front of you. Its head goes... There's a noise going on in the background. Its head goes up, uncovering the face in the hood. However, rather than flesh, a bony skull appears beneath. The thing starts talking with the high-pitched voice of hell itself. Curse you and your filthy money! I will be expecting you in the deepest recesses of hell! With that, the robe collapses to the ground. The thing appears to have taken the pot with it. What? I'm not gonna lie. That, that kind of, that was disturbing. Sheesh. This is scarier than half the games I tested trying to find a decent video. Ugh. I, I never played more than like five minutes, but sheesh. If you saw the games I would play, I was playing. It was just. They were terrible. They were terrible. I'm telling you. I'm just terrible. Okay. Uh, the thing appears to have taken the pot with it. What do I do? What do I do? Just look around. If I knew he was going to be angry, I wouldn't have thrown the coin in there. Uh, blocked gate and there. Only an ascending staircase and a torn robe. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Take robe. Be fancy, man. Be fancy with robe. You consider taking the torn robe with you, but then realize that you don't have enough space for it. I don't have enough space for it. I didn't know I had an inventory limit. Okay. 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 Uh, robe benches, table... I wonder if there's anything at the table. Look at the table. You take a look at the wood table. Mine reads, every cent goes for a good cause. Hmm. Huh. Um. Enter a hallway, maybe? You pass through the narrow hallway. A magnificent vista stands before you. That's... that's a vista, I guess. Mm. This place hasn't been disturbed by man for a long time, and its nature has done its magic. In places, the grass overflows from its natural hue to a faint purple one, giving the whole place both an alien and a mysterious feeling. Bright red roses are sticking out between the grass, lighting the garden up. In the center of it all stands a huge statue of an angel, as if taking the role of a guardian. If it wasn't for the rain, a person could have mistaken this place for heaven itself. The only thing which brings you back to reality is a strange dark hole near the left wall. Well... You caught my interest. Uh, look at hole. You peek inside the dark hole. It's just wide enough for someone's skin to go through it. The hole isn't more than half a meter deep. The roughness of which it has been dug suggests that hands were used for the job. On the bottom of it, you can see a big hollow area with the size of a person. A sh pair of shackles lay at the bottom. There is a lever besides the shackles, covered in mud. There is a journal page, barely visible in the left corner. Take page. I don't like this hole. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like this hole. Mm hmm. I'm probably not going to cut this up into parts because it's just one game, but if it goes on for an excessively long amount of time, I'm just going to, you know, cut it. Uh, I don't know about the shackles. Can I take the shackles? The shackles. I keep trying to say the shackles. The whatever. You don't have enough space to carry the... Pa okay, I definitely have an inventory cap. 
they are too heavy for you anyway. Uh, uh, pull lever? Yeah, it's kind of stupid to have an inventory cap for a, you know, text game. You don't see a way to move the muddy lever. Well, you push or pull it, it's one of the two, but I guess it's stuck if they're saying that. Huh, well, let's see. Let's see if the diary has any clue. Well, I don't really want to... Okay. I don't want to read the diary out of sequence. So, look around. You take a look around, you can see an angel statue, a dark hole, purple grass patch, and a narrow hallway. Hmm, look at statue. Is this SCP-173? Is it gonna snap my neck when I blink? You take a look at the angel statue. It's one of the tallest you can recall seeing. The angel is covering its mouth with its hands. There's a round platform besides the base of the statue. Stand on platform? Because why not? You step on the round pl I didn't think that would work. You step on the round platform, although it clearly sinks into the ground, nothing happens. So it's like those platforms on Legend of Zelda. You stand on it and it goes down. Except here, it doesn't seem to do much. Huh. Look at purple grass. You take a look at the purple grass patch. Its color strikes you as odd and you go to have a closer look. At once you spot a pink flower, but after a brief investigation you find out that the grass is actually covering a bunch of bones and a pile of hashed rotted flesh. Sick of the sight, you back off and throw up in the nearest bush. Well, only one thing to do in this situation. You think again and decide that wasn't a great idea after all. Eh, yeah, screw you, I thought it was a good idea. Um, hmm, look at bones. Ah, do not look at bones. Look at bones. See if that does anything. Okay, guy can't look at bones or flesh. Hmm, probably wasn't important anyway. I don't know what I can do, though. Was there a purpose to coming here? Can't pull the lever, I can't take the shackles, I can't do anything about the half rotted flesh, the skeleton... Uh, the round platform does nothing. Uh... And... That's all there is to it. And I... Don't want to... Maybe... Examine... Back? Pack, maybe? You open the backpack, there is a diary, a box of matches, a framed map, a torch, and a journal inside. Look at map. <laughs> oh, well... This? Um... Hmm... I don't know if this helps me or not. Guess it kinda does, but... All this is really telling me that I've already been pretty much everywhere. Hmm. I'm in the garden, it seems. Um. Hmm. Well, I don't really need the map, so drop map, I guess. Get inventory space. You decide to throw the framed map. It drops on the ground with a thud. Go in hole. You go to the dark hole to take a closer look. It's just wide enough for someone skinning to go through. The hole isn't more than half a meter deep. The rest of which has been dug suggests that hands were used for the job. On the bottom, you can see a big hollow area the size of a person. The share of shackles on the bottom, the size of shackles covered in mud. There's a journal page lever. You we've, we've already read this. Eh, of shackles. Hmm. You don't have enough space to carry the pair of shackles. They are too heavy for you anyways. Okay. Let's, um... Lee, uh, enter all. Can I even go there from here? Ugh. Exit hole. No, exit! Ugh. Leave. Come on. Come on! I'm just trying to... How did, how did I get out last time? I forget. 
look at statue. Pretty sure it just sort of looked around. Take a look at the angel statue, which one of the tallest you can recall. But uh, we have already read this. Um. Wait. Take map. Um. Drop map on platform. You throw the framed map at. Ooh. Did it do anything? I threw it. Drop. I don't know. Um. Enter hallway. Best room. Take robes. Come on. You consider taking the torn robe with you, but then realize that you don't have enough space for it? What? Look at backpack. Back, 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 yeah! A diary, a box of matches, a torch, and a journal inside. Drop. Torch. You decide to throw the torch, it drops on the ground with a thud. Take robe. Nah. Darn it. Oh. Oh! You take a look at the torn rope, it lays on the muddy floor, you lift it up and find a pile of rope. Take rope, I know exactly what to do with it. Okay. Um, take... Torch. Take the torch and place it just light torch. Cause I... The torch is already bur- oh, it's already- <laughs> I dropped it on the ground and it's still burning? That doesn't seem like a smart idea. Go up stairs. I know exactly what to do with this rope. Get the torch out. On the way up, you spot a couple of broken steps and jump over them. You are in the deadly dimension. Go up ladder. You start climbing the metal ladder leading up. You are in the bell tower. Um, attach rope, maybe? You aim for the wide Ring below the bell's clapper and throw one end of the long rope. Your hands don't disappoint you, and the rope goes in, connecting with the mechanism nicely. You pull the rope, and it seems that the whole world fills with the sound of the giant bell. What did that do for me? What, what, what? What did that do for me? Okay. That, that, that happened. You start descending the metal ladder down. You are in the dimly lit room. Okay. Okay. Look at backpack. Did we actually get the rope? I mean, robe. Or did we just sort of lift? Okay. Look at robe. You can't find such an object around? Wait. Oh! oh silly me. Go downstairs. I forgot. You get the torch out on the way down. Holes, we jump over them using our super pro skills with the torch. Look at robe. You take a look at the torn robe, it lays on the muddy floor. Take robe. You consider taking the torn robe with you, but then. Eh, forget it. Maybe if we drop torch here. Eh, throw the torch. Drop matches. Um, drop diary has not helped us. Okay, throwing is not an option. Dang it. Um, uh, uh, check backpack. What else do we have? You open the backpack, there's a diary and a journal inside. Wait, I haven't... Wait, look at journal. What does that do for me? Wait, what? It's not going well. In fact, I am not making any progress with these rats that are giving me... I need real test subjects. Real people. Rick is going to the village for some. Jimmy wouldn't understand. No one would. Only a true child of science can comprehend what I bring to this world. And no, it's not to end the damn war. I don't care if I become a slave to one nation or another, but my brother does not deserve this. 
I am pushing the boundaries of science for him. I knew that mission was doomed from the start, but the captain insisted they should be sacrificed for the greater good. <sighs> that same night, I returned the favor by smashing his skull against the ground. So, this guy's pretty cray-cray. Okay, there's a diamond. I guess that happened. Okay. Enter hallway. Now we're gonna see if we can pick up the shackles. Okay, if I can't pick them up now, then I simply can't pick them up, because I've already dropped everything that I'm allowed to. Unless I can drop the journal, but I doubt it. Okay, take shackles. You don't have enough spa- ah, no, can't carry them. They're too heavy. Wear shackles? You take a look at the pair of shackles. It appears they were holding something down there. <laughs> open shackles? I don't know if they're closed or open or what. Impossible to open. Should have figured. Huh. Um. Uh. Give me a minute. Okay, this happened. Uh, you step on the round platform, it sinks into the ground, and for a moment you hear nothing but the sound of the giant bell. Then, all of a sudden, the ground starts shaking and you nearly lose balance. The quake stops as suddenly as it had begun. The angel statue looks a bit different now. I swear this is like 30 seconds after I got completely lost. Okay. Okay. Look at statue. <laughs> Oh boy, you take a look at the angel statue, it's one of the tallest you can recall, seeing the angel's hands are crossed in front of its chest, it has a broad smile across its face, revealing at least a dozen sharpened teeth. The back of the statue is now gone, but rather than solid granite, the inside shows a cabin of an elevator. <laughs> Enter elevator. Oh, jeez. Get, you get in the cabin of the elevator and click the only button. The cabin starts moving down and not before long it comes to a stop. You appear to be in some sort of office beneath the ground. A small bulb still sheds light in this godforsaken place. Just in front of you is a metal desk is fixed to the ground. An open safe is chained to the desk. On your left, a corridor stretches long and its end fades into the darkness. On your right, a barred door blocks your way. Huh. Well, um, look at safe. Not a wise idea to keep a safe open. You take a look at the open safe. A giant hole stands in place with the lock. The safe is empty, but there is a small hole revealing a secret compartment. The only thing left inside is an old sheet of paper. Take... Take... Paper. You take the sheet of paper and place it in your backpack. Why did my screen turn red? Why is that a thing? Why did that happen? That didn't happen before. I'm not on a timer, am I? Like, if I wait too long, something doesn't kill me, right? Okay. Look at secret compartment. Unless that was the secret compartment. Okay. I'm just going to assume the sheet of paper was in the secret compartment. Or look at hole. Perhaps. It appears that this is part of a mechanism. A piece of the puzzle is missing. Missing though. Okay. Let's uh. Let's look around. I am still wondering what that red stuff was. Like, why did that happen? Bar door, long corridor, middle desk, open safe. Notice. Wow, there's a lot in this room. Is there? Is that a window underground? Look at window. I assume this is underground. I mean, where else could it be? You can't go up if there's nowhere to go up. Unless this room spawns somewhere. 
You take a look through the window. As expected, below the ground you see lots of dirt and mud. What the heck? On the bottom right, there is some sort of white globe. Taking a closer look, you discover that this is the left eye of a skull. While staring with the revulsion, a sluggish green worm goes out from the eye and disappears further into the mud. This game... I don't know what it is about it, but it's messing with me. Okay. Okay. Uh, look at Metal Desk. Like, it's not like other horror games that just rely on jump scares and visuals. No, this game just messes with your psyche. He's mine. Although it could have something to do with me playing this at around midnight Eastern Standard Time. And this is actually like 90% of the screen is black, so room's pretty dark. And I'm in the horror mood, so, you know. Take a look at the metal desk. It stands on four strong legs. On it, a journal page is almost completely covered in dust. Okay. Take page. Why not? Sorry if I'm typing too loud, by the way. I do it by accident just to make sure that all my button presses register. Okay. Um, let's look around again because I forgot what was in this room. Okay. Barred door. Long corridor, probably gonna enter that. Open safe, metal desk, notice board. Small hole, a window, and an elevator. Look at notice board. Ugh. You can't even go back to fix your mistakes. Look at Ugh. notice board. Thank you. Why do I hear these things and see my screen go red? I'm just doing typical activities. You take a look at the notice board. The brown surface below is barely visible from all the blood stains all over it. There's a single journey journal page sticked with a pin. It starts day 45. Take page. Because that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. And place it in the journal. Okay, enter corridor. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, you enter the long corridor boldly, you got that right. After a few steps, you enter the dark part of the path. You continue forward, and on your next step, the floor sinks a bit. After a moment, you hear the whoosh sound as if there were rushing water above you. The next few moments, you are filled with agony as you feel your whole face devolt solving. You collapse on the ground with a final thought rushes into your mind, definitely not water. You have died. <sighs> I forgot my torch. Ugh. Okay. Um, one second. I'm gonna get right back where it was. It's not working! Damn it! I tried everything. There's something missing. But what? What? My head. I don't get it. One thing I do get. More experiments need to be done. I need to save my brother. More people. Tomorrow. The service. Yes. Perfect. I'll send the guards to get them. But he cannot know. He must not know. He will not know. Or all would have been for nothing. I'll take care of this personally. He mustn't leave his room for his own good. I'm doing the right thing here. I must be. I want to save his life. To give him a chance. Yes. Yes. Yes! I did it. I finally did it. After so many sleepless nights. After so many failures. It's done. Yet, so many deaths. So much blood. It was worth it, though. Oh. Oh, yes, it was. For my little brother. For him. For Jimmy. He will be saved! Oh yes. Every single brain removed. Every single eyelid slashed. I can still remember the last scream of Rick as I ripped his lungs out with my saw. Oh, what a beautiful sight it was. And it's done now. Finally finished. I can't believe that I didn't do it earlier. It seems so obvious now. Only one ingredient had evaded me. 
So yeah, this is the Psycho Bonkers Crazy guy from earlier. Journal page, whatnot. You know him, you know. But, um... Look at Corridor this time, because last time we got our face melted off. It seems to lead to darkness a little bit further, and you can see an enormous blood stain on the floor. Hmm. I guess enter now that we have the torch. Fingers crossed. Boldly, after a few steps, you enter the dark part of the path. You continue forward, and on your next step, your floor sings a bit. Oh, wait, no. The next few moments are filled with... Ugh. God damn it. One second. Okay, so this is a piece of paper I found earlier. Project S -s 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 Supplement to increase soldier strength and durability. The government had decided for the church to, to be rebuilt and resume its daily routine as a cover-up for a new research facility. Dr. Jonathan Carter is to lead the research and be provided any supplies for his work. He is to use any means necessary to accomplish his goal. A squad of soldiers will be assigned for him to command. His working place, a newly equipped laboratory, laboratory if you would, will be protected by a safety mechanism to deny unauthorized access. A lever has to be connected for safe passing. In case of danger, the lever should be pulled out. Hmm. Interesting. So, this is the laboratory? Okay, so I was thinking. Now, I forgot to go get my torch, so we're gonna enter the elevator. Again, sorry for the loud typing. But we're gonna see if we can throw the map or torch or matches or something. Take map. You take the framed map and place it to enter hallway. Because that's where we drop the torch. Take torch. Take matches. Enter hallway. You know, this is actually going to be pretty long. I may end up splicing it into several bits and pieces. Mm. Ah. Nah. Enter elevator. I'm just wondering how long exactly it's going to be, but who knows? I assume to be done, like, before now. Um... Throw torch at hull. No, wait, corridor. It's pretty picky with words. Throw torch at corridor. You throw the torch at the long corridor. Huh. Throw map at corridor? You throw the framed map at the long corridor? I probably wasn't supposed to do that. I'm afraid to take them now, because I think they might trigger the trap. But, what is it asking me to do? What is it asking me to do? Huh. Let's see now. Look around. Okay. Take a look around, you can see bar to door, long corridor, metal desk, Open safe, notice board, small hole, window, an elevator, a torch, and a framed map. Let's take the torch, I guess. Please don't trigger anything. Okay. It didn't trigger it. Hmm. Don't know. The small hole is a part of a puzzle. Shut up. Hmm, wonder if I can listen. Listen. That wasn't a great idea after all. I thought it was a good idea. Um, let's look at the window again. It's, maybe it's a clue. Take a look through the window. As expected, below the ground you can see lots of dirt and mud. On the bottom right, there is some sort of white globe. White globe. Taking a closer look, you discover this is... The left eye of a skull. 
While staring with revulsion, a sluggish green worm goes out from the eye and disappears further into the mud. Green worm. Skull. Um. Break window. Your desire to attack the window strikes you as odd. <laughs> but I wanna. Aww. <laughs> Will attacking the desk seem odd? Your desire to attack the metal desk strikes you as odd. <laughs> oh, that's that's actually funny. Hmm. What do I do about that corridor? Light torch. Um. It's already burning. Okay, duck. Maybe crouch. You think it's only my face that's melting. So um, I was thinking that maybe if I ducked, face protection. Face protection. The robe. Okay. Enter elevator. Now we're gonna see if we can wear the robe, not take it. We're gonna see if we can wear it, because we already know that taking it just makes you lift it up. Okay, enter hallway. You pass through the narrow hallway. You are in the great hall. Okay, wear robe. Ugh. Spelling error. Wear robe. You take a look at the torn robe it lays on the muddy floor. That doesn't help me. Look around. You take a look around, you can see a row of benches, a table, an altar. Ooh, I didn't look at the altar. Look at altar. You go to the altar and you go closer. It's unusually small for a hall this big. On it, a book labeled Holy Bible Lays. Ugh, why not take book? The first book... What? In the beginning, God created the heaven and his church. Then came Carter and purged them all. 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 Then came Carter and purged this law. Can purge them all. Um. You hear a loud click and look up immediately. You have a moment to look at a chandelier which is falling directly toward you. You lunge forward with hope of evading the blow, but you prove too slow as it falls directly onto you and cracks your head open. What? I have died. God. Burn the book. Burn the Bible. You cannot set the holy Bible, holy Bible on fire. Sure you can. Wait. Take torch. Take matches. Burn book. Burn the Bible. Cannot set the Holy Bible on fire. Dang it. Um. Hmm. I got the bright pink flower and placed it in my backpack. Took me about five minutes to even realize I could do that. Although I still fail to see how this helps me. But. You know. Half the game is the adventure. So. Pink flower, how how will that help us? That that doesn't really help us survive the the Bible. Because the Bible kills us now, even though that wasn't really the Bible, that was just some guy killing us all, I guess. Enter elevator. I am so confused on what to do. And I I, I just don't I played plenty of these types of games. It's just... I don't know. 
I have a pink flower. That's something new. You take a look around, you can see a barred door. Look at door. I haven't tried that yet. But take a look at the barred door. It's locked and you can't find a way to get it open. Beyond you see an empty room, which appears to be a prison cell. Okay, that guy earlier said that the lever had something to do with this place. Maybe that was the emergency thing. Okay, look at the hole. And I can deactivate it somehow. I don't know how, just somehow. I'm just gonna need to go through it. Well, this hole, blah blah blah, the roughness of Okay, on the bottom of it, you see big hole area with the size of a person. So it's like a shallow grave. A pair of shackles lay on the bottom. There's a lever beside the shackles, covered in mud. Okay, you sneeze. No, I'm not. I don't think so. Okay, sorry about that. You take the page from the journal. Um, pull lever. We already tried that, but you don't see a way to move the muddy lever. Move lever. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Um, um, uh, light lever. Cannot set the muddy lever on fire, of course. Man, I just... Um... <sighs> I'm at a loss, guys. I, I really don't know what to do. I'm trying to... Just, just trying to think. If I had a safe feature, that would help. But, uh, buy music, uh, more games, no. Those don't help me, those don't help me. Um, cannot set the muddy lever on fire, since it's... Uh, um... Uh, look at... No, we are done with the whole, I... Mm. Man! <sighs> Enter elevator. I I'm at a loss. I'm at a complete and utter loss. We're in the office. <sighs> look at window, I suppose. Take a look through the window. As expected, below the ground you see lots of dirt and mud. <sighs> Look at white globe. Sluggish green worm goes off from the eye and disappears further into the mud. You can't find such an object. Okay, of course not. Cannot find the white globe, also known as the left eye of the skull. Wait, kitty. Look at eye. Can't find the object again. Well, I don't want to go down the corridor. Hang on. Read journal. Now, read paper. Yes, it was the paper. Ah, not the. Read. I will hit you, computer, if you do not cooperate. Even though it's my fault, technically. Can't find. No, oh, I forgot to pick up the paper. Um, look at safe. Look at the open safe. Take paper. That scream kind of startled me. But not too much. Read paper now, please. Read it. Okay. Uh, the squad of soldiers. Working please. Safety mechanism. Lever has to be connected for safe passing. 
In case of danger, the lever should be pulled out. Oh, uh, but I can't move the lever. Ugh. Hang on, I'm gonna go try and figure this out. Well, after totally not looking at a walkthrough, I found out that there were two things that I missed in the very, very beginning of the game. <sighs> just, just, I, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I kind of want to blame myself for not checking under the bed. But at the same time, they didn't give me any indication. Like, they gave me no reason to look under the bed because I got so far in the game without doing so. And this is the very first room. Is Ugh. You reach for the diamonds, but it seems they suddenly flash and begin to move backward and disappear under the shadow of the bed. After a moment, you hear a loud hissing sound followed by unnaturally noisy scratching leading upward behind one of the walls. You realize that those weren't diamonds after all. Um... Take medallion? That... <laughs> what were they? Place it in your backpack. Wear medallion? Seems like it's something you'd wear. You take a look at the medallion. Okay. Yeah. It appears to be made some some sort of light purple metal. It has a small chained dragon carved deep into it. There's a small lock which indicates that it can be opened. Okay. Open medallion. Unless it's locked. You need a key in order to open the medallion. Can I take the diamonds with the medallion? You can't find... Oh, okay. Well... Hmm. No, wait, 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 wait. Enter door. That's how this works. <sighs> so if those weren't diamonds, what were they? Who knows? Who cares? Um... Hoping that this works now. Hoping. I don't know how this is gonna work. But... Maybe. So, I'll see you when I'm back at the elevator, I guess. Well... <laughs> I know what I've been doing wrong all this time. I've been trying to use the muddy lever... And... Instead of taking it, I thought it was attached to the ground, but... Okay, but the very last time I am using the walkthrough. Because I, I hate using walkthroughs, but I don't want to do all this all over again. I've died so many times just trying to enter that corridor. I'm in the office. Put lever in hole. You stick the muddy lever deep into the hole, which produces a loud, satisfying click. It appears to fit perfectly. You pull the lever, and a loud scream follows somewhere behind. You turn around but see nothing. At this point, you are not sure if this is real or your mind playing tricks on you. Enter... Corridor? You pass through the long corridor without any difficulty and emerge into the other side. The whole room is filled with unimaginable stench. Nevertheless, you decide that it's a good idea to investigate this place. Just in front of you, there is a pair of tables which hold a huge pile of bodies. On your left, a coffin lays in the cold floor. Above it, painted in white, a cabinet hangs on the wall. On your right, there is a table separated from the others. The whole place looks like a small lab. Oof. Look around. Ah. Look around. Okay. Look around, please. I need a list of things to do. There seems to be a bit of stuff. Okay. Look at a pair of tables. 
you take a look at the pair of tables, they seem to be connected together to form a much bigger one. On it, a pile of bodies are stacked high on top of one another. You see no reason to disturb them. Well, and gotta let them have their beauty rest. Look at Coffin. You reach for the coffin's lid and slide it open. A mummified body, pierced with spikes, lays inside. Is this a regenerator from Resident Evil? You can feel shivers going through your whole body. The fear of the thing actually rising and stabbing you to death makes you slide the lid closed again. Yeah, that sounds like a regenerator. Uh, white cabinet. Look at white cabinet. Okay, operation table is the last thing to look at. You take a look at the white cabinet. It has a door blocking you from its contents. Um, open door? You open the door of the white cabinet. Yeah, those doors were really blocking me, weren't they? There's a vial of chemical X, a vial of chemical Y, and a vial of chemical Z inside. A hand drill is located in the corner. Take drill, take chemical X. Are we creating the Powerpuff Girls with this? Take chemical Z. Take chemical Y. Those screams really need to stop. <laughs> okay. Um, look at operating table. You take a look at the operation table. It On it lays a thing which once could be identified as a body of a person that had dissolved to the giant pile of liquefying flesh which stands before you. Most of the bones are clearly visible, but the head of the thing seems surprisingly intact. There is a metal bowl next to it. Uh, look at bowl. Look, arch bowl. Look at bowl, please. Look at bowl, please, sir. I am going to strangle your entire family if... Okay. Okay. Take a look at the metal bowl. It's made from strong stainless steel. It's empty. Thank you. Take bowl. You take the bowl. Okay, let's look around again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, um, put chemical Z into bowl. You place the chemical Z in the... Put chemical Y into bowl. If this kills me... Okay, so, what happened last time is I got a wrong ingredient of some sort. So, since Chemical Y apparently made it explode, I'm going to assume I need Chemical Z and X. Take Chemical x -Rooney. Take chemical Z crossing my fingers that this works put chemical X into bowl please work please work put chemical Z into bowl you place the chemical Z in the metal bowl oh Okay then. Wow. Uh, as it helped me. Um. No. Is it? Um. Hmm. Hang on. Let me go exploring a bit. Okay. So I read the journal, and it said something about a brain, and something about a drill. I think because I have a drill. And there's an intact brain right here, so drill head. Don't drill my own head, please. Please do not do that. Don't be an idiot. You take a look at the melting body, I think. Wait. No, 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 no. Use 
drill on head. Ugh, most of the bones are clearly the head seems surprisingly intact. Yes, I want the brain. Oh, there's, there's a journal page too. Let's let's take it. Take journal page. But yeah, the one from earlier I showed you guys about how that guy said every brain move read journal. Some some the one right here oh yes yes every single brain removed every single eyelid slash blah 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 um, didn't really no I said something about a saw not a uh, okay wait whoa 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 that said a flower read journal that might be important might be important go it was the flower, that pretty little thing. Some call it a blood rain. Not for the color, though, absolutely not. It's bright purple, and not the fancy one, the dark evil one. Blood drain comes from the place where it grows to flourish. It has to feed on blood, that's why it evaded me for so long. There's one thing left. Adding Rick's brain to the mixture of my favorite chemicals, X and Z. <laughs> oh, so I was right. And voila. It was done. The curse was complete. It can be fatal, though. Oh, yes, it can, but I made an antidote for my brain is ticking. Tick, tick, tick. I can hear it loud and clear. It speaks to me. Tick, tick, tick. Do I add the... Put flower in bowl. You decide to throw the metal bowl. It... <laughs> Why is my character stupid? Take bowl. You're lucky you didn't spill the contents. I don't know how you evaded that, but you did. Um, okay, so... Use drill on head. You place the hand drill on the head and push it down while rotating. The sound which accompanies this procedure is unspeakably vile, but you manage to bear it for a few more moments. After removing the hand drill, a yellow substance begins leaking from the hole on the table next to you, there is an empty vial, which you fill with the substance and place in your backpack. Um... Okay, so he said Voila. Um... Hmm. Um... What about the brain? Can I take the brain? You have already taken the vial of brain substance. Is that Voila? Put vial in bowl. You decide to throw the... <sighs> Idiot. I just... <sighs> Please stop throwing the bowl. Pour... Um... Vial into bowl. You have already taken the metal bowl. Ugh, never mind. What do I do? 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 Um... Okay, says something about a flower. Um... Put flower into vial. Maybe. We can't find such an odd... Wait, did I take the flower? Check backpack. You open the backpack, there's a diary, a journal, a torch, a box, a matches, a medallion, a sheet of paper, a hand drill, a vial of brain substance, and a metal bowl inside. Ooh, um, hang on, let me go get the flower real quick. We have successfully put the handful of petals in the metal bowl. What this accomplishes, I have no idea. But let's see if put vial into bowl. No. Put vial. No, ugh. Oh my gosh! Ugh. Take bowl. This guy keeps throwing his substances around. Put file into bowl. I assume this is voila, whatever he's talking about. Okay. Okay, that's. Um. Take bowl. Um. Examine. File. You think again and check. Backpack. 
What does this game call it? I call it a vial. It is calling it a... Journal, torch, box of matches, medallion, a sheet of paper. Andrew, brain substance, put brain substance into bowl. You place the brain substance in the metal bowl. The mixture starts bubbling, and in a matter of seconds, a light purple liquid forms inside. You pour it in one of the empty vials and place it in your backpack. Awesome! Now, enter elevator. I think we're still in the garden. Enter the cabin of the elf. Yeah, yeah. We're still in the cabin. So, we're gonna enter the corridor. And, you know what? <laughs> I still have no idea what this is supposed to do. Hmm. Um. Wait, is it like a resurrection potion? Um. Examine coffin. Examine coffin. Reach for the coffin's lid and slide it open. A mummified body, pierced with spikes, lays inside. Um, I don't think I want to revive that even if this does revive, but, maybe, journal. Yeah, I probably close the lid. Um, there's a flower. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, science covers everything. Bashing skull. Um, it would it be full sight? It's enough on the finish. I can just, it seems so obvious now when one greedy invade me. Forward, there's one thing. Adding Rick's brain to the mixture of my favorite chemicals, X and Z, and voila. It was done. Oh, it, voila. Oh, I'm so stupid. Adding Rick's brain to the mixture of my... <laughs> I what? Oh, wow. All of you must think I'm an idiot. The cure was complete. It can be fatal, though. Oh, yes, it can, but I made an antidote for my brain is ticking. An antidote, eh? It can be fatal. Well... <sighs> Don't want to do this, but... If... If the, it, I, I swear, if, if this doesn't work, drink, potion, you can't fill, okay, that, check, backpack, did I call it something else? Probably calling it the wrong thing. There is a diary, a journal, a torch, box of matches, dalian, sheet of paper, hand drill, metal bowl, and a vial of purple liquid. It's a... Here of sorts. Well, what's it do? Hmm. Um. Huh. Um. Hmm. After thinking for about five minutes, I decided, you know, why not? Why not? If I die, I'll just. I don't know. You pour the purple liquid into your mouth and swallow greedily. The taste reminds you of raspberries, and you finish up the vial in a matter of seconds. A strong ache in your stomach forces you to bend forward and crash onto the ground. You try to resist it, but the pain overcomes your desire to stay conscious, and you faint. Did I die? Oh. I didn't- Yay, I'm not dead! You open your eyes after some time and discover that the pain is gone and you feel fine. In fact, you feel excellent. There is something else as well. You've gone exponentially stronger. No door should stand in your way now. <laughs> what? Um, am I still in the same room? Take a look around. You can see a pair of tables, dusty coffin... Let's see, open medallion. You need a key in order to- oh, 
So I can bash down a door, but I can't open a medallion. Okay. Enter corridor. You pass through the long corridor without any difficulty and emerge from the other side. You are in the office. Open door. You grab the bars and feel the blood rising in your veins. The bars stand no chance as you pull them apart and open a suitable hole for you to pass through. Enter door. You pass through the hole in the barred door with a hole, a painfully dull and empty room. Once it was painted all in white, but the walls had lost their color ages ago, long ago. Taking a closer look, there appears to be a bump on one of the walls. Examine bump. You take a look at the loose brick. Um, okay. There might be something behind forcing it to stick out. You feel that you can take it. Um... Take... Brick. Sure? Maybe? You remove the loose brick. Inside you find a small key and place it in your backpack. There's a dire page in one corner of the hole. Take page. Now. Open medallion. Beneath that one? Really? You stick the key into the medallion's hole and turn it after a soft click, the medallion pops open, and inside you find a small vial of light orange liquid. The label identifies it as antidote. You are not sure what it actually negates, but place it in your backpack anyway. Oh, that's the antidote they were talking about. But it. I, I, okay. So. My condition is fatal. So I want to drink this as soon as I get the church doors open. Okay. Take page. Then we're gonna get out of here. Okay. Enter door. Enter elevator. Hopefully I get like a warning before I'm about to die because they wouldn't give me the antidote if I wasn't gonna die from this and you know super strength. And, I don't know. I just feel like I'm gonna need this at some point. Enter uh, hallway. Uh, am I at the end of the game yet? It feels like... Have I been recording for two hours now? Great hall. Open door. It doesn't take much time to clear out the rubble. When you do, the gate opens easily and reveals a path which leads out of the church. A dire page. <sighs> take page. You take the page and place it in a diary. Enter gate. You step through the door while still feeling the might of the liquid that you took. However, not before long, you feel a strong pain in the center of your chest. You judge that your heart is failing, but can do nothing about it in your last moment. Well, uh, in your last moments, you realize that a part of you is glad that you won't have to live with your guilt any longer. The end. Well. Well, that's the game. I probably would have gotten a different ending if I drank the potion as soon as I opened the gate, but I didn't. So, we got the me dying end. Probably won't be playing this again, but the game was good. It had its creepy atmosphere, despite the fact that it had no graphics. The, um... I have to admit, the deaths were a little cheap. I mean, I guess they weren't too bad. There weren't too many ways to die, but... The thing like the Bible... And, like, the hallway... like I don't know. There's just a lot of things that this game seemed to kill you, and you're just sort of left stranded. A lot of text adventure games do that, so I guess this isn't too bad considering, like, other games in the same genre. But, more checkpoints would have been, um, probably could have helped the gameplay a little bit. Avoid all that backtracking and all that, but otherwise, kind of like this game. So, thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. See ya.